Hello everybody, welcome to Building Your Comments. This is a series where I'm going to be building the comments that you guys put into the comments of the videos that I make. About four days ago, I made the Building Your Comments announcement video, where I, we got over 20 comments, which is awesome. Due to that being so much, and I don't want this video to be so long, and that gives me an opportunity to make this a longer series. So, if you're watching this and you haven't submitted something, if you've thought about something and you want something else for me to build for the next Building Your Comments, put it in the comments and I will build it next time, if I can get to it. But if there's a lot, then there'll be a part three, or four, or five. But yeah, for now, we're here with the first one. I also posted on Instagram about the Building Your Comments, and we had a couple submissions there. So we're going to be doing some from Instagram and some from YouTube. And once again, I'll be posting again on Instagram, and then this video will come out on YouTube, and you'll be able to submit more things for me to build if you want. So take into note when you're going to be submitting something, don't make it too big, like an ask for an entire PvP map. I'd like for you to challenge me, like uh, just saying like build something with only spheres or cubes or something like we have some of those in this video, which is great. But if you just want me to build something like an apple, feel free. Or if you have any inquiries about the maker pen, now we're going to begin this video. So let's see what the first comment is. So the first comment comes from Jennifer Van Hill asking, build a corrupted muffin. So we're going to go ahead and try and do that. <laughs> So the first thing we need to make is the wrapping for the muffin. Now I decided to make the wrapping white, but here it is right here. So now we're actually going to make the actual muffin up here. Oh, to make the actual muffin, we're actually just going to use a brown color here. So somewhere around here. We'll do this one here though, right there. And for the material, we're going to go to the second page and we're going to use this one. Particle board. And we're going to make those in spheres. So just like this, grab a sphere. So, we're really just going to do something like this. We're going to kind of like, you know, we're going to make the, it kind of looks like an egg actually. It's an egg. But, we're going to use the, since it's flat on the top, the wrapper, we're going to clone this around and, and kind of do this. But make sure it doesn't go over the wrapper, but make sure it does a little bit just so you don't see the bottom of it. So with our muffin here, we're actually going to add some chocolate chips. So how we're going to do that is we're going to grab our palette here. <laughs> and we're going to go to colors. And chocolate chips is around a darker brown than this. So we're going to hit this one here. And then for the material, hmm. This is something that's important when you're building. Make sure you have the right material because it might look a little wacky without material. I think we're going to use the uh, dirt texture. <laughs> uh, so as you can see here, you can't really see it, but... Like that, that texture, we're gonna use that for the chocolate chips. So we're gonna make a square, uh, probably not that big. Use, uh, I'm gonna use a manipulate tool for me to scale that down just a little bit. And we're gonna grab this now, if I could. I'm gonna grab this now, and we're going to just lob it inside of the muffin, just like that. We're just gonna throw these around a little bit, and yeah. There you go. So these are now chocolate chips in our muffin. Now the request was to make the muffin corrupted, not just make a muffin. So we're gonna make it corrupted by giving it a little bit of like glow and a little bit of uh, gooey stuff. And maybe make it a little evil. <laughs> so <laughs> When you think corruption, you usually do purple, so we're gonna do that. So we're gonna use a tube here and we're going to just wrap this. So we're gonna put like kind of the top over like this so it kind of is just poking out and we're going to then route that like that and we're going to do this around the muffin on all of its corners actually just like that it's now corrupted it has <laughs> it has some sort of infection and we need to check on it because this is not safe <laughs> now with the face <laughs> we're not going to put a face on it but if i were to put a face on it it would more be like oh hold on no 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 It'd be like... It would be like this. And so it's corrupted, so it's gonna destroy the world, pretty much. And there it is, your corrupted muffin. Now, all the comments I build in this video will be posted on my profile, and if you message me to take it down, I will respectfully take it down, and this is yours. And I will put it on publish, so you can just, you can publish, you don't have to take this out of your rooms if you want it or put it in your dorm room but yeah uh corrupted muffin <laughs> and the next comment is by dj little g 
asking to make a security camera. Uh, and he's trying to learn how, which is great. I'm gonna be teaching you how then. So he asked for a security camera. So first thing we're gonna do is obviously gonna be metal because it's, well, security camera. So we're gonna be using the metal material right there. And we're probably gonna do gray. Uh, oh, security cameras are gray. Now, there is different kinds of security cameras. There's the one on the ceilings that look like a bulb, or there's the ones that look like a camera. So we're gonna do the one that's to the, like the camera. Uh, the one, the bulb is kinda too easy. I mean, it's literally like two shapes you could do it with. But yeah, we're going to do the... So we're gonna make a square here, just like this. Like that. And the front, we're gonna kinda use like wedges, sort of. Kinda something like this. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So that's kinda just a, you know, a simple clone we could do there. And at the top, we're gonna put another cube. And that cube is gonna go kinda like up here. Just like that. So it kinda looks like a little cone there. So you can see there. And then in the inside, we're gonna put uh, so just a little black uh, cube just so it kind of looks like a For added detail, we're gonna add some spheres here to the side just like this uh, just kind of like uh, To show that it's just a security camera Kind of like that. Uh, that's just detail. That's not exactly necessary uh, On the other side, I don't know what we'll do on the other side, but we could just do Like a red dot to show that it's recording or something like that <laughs> so Red dot, we'll put it around there, like that. So if we do want this camera on a stand, we have to put sort of like a stand for it to mount onto the wall, and we're gonna use a tube for that. So we're gonna use the same metal material that I was talking about up here, uh, just using the gray and the metal. We're gonna kinda like push it out like this. And then we're gonna grab a sphere, sort of as like a joint connection. We're just gonna put that there. And then from that sphere, we're going to do another tube pointing out like this. And then that will put a cube at the end there. Just like that. And for some added details, we are going to add some wires going from the mount, mounting bracket to the actual camera. So it looks like it's being powered by something from the wall. So we're going to use a just like a red flat tube. And with that, you're going to just get... I'm going to turn my snap off for this. And with that, we're going to do run red out to the camera like that. And then we're going to get a green, green wire. And then we're going to get a blue wire. But there you go. That's your security camera. So once again, everything I'll be publishing will be put in the comment hall, which is a room I will be publishing soon. So at the end of this video, this room should be published with everything that I build. Next comments by Corbin's saying, build a refrigerator with a whole lot of beans in it. Um. Alright, let's, let's do that. This would be the floor of the fridge, just like that. And then we're going to do the back wall. Uh, now, we're going to do sort of a fridge slash freezer sort of thing. And then we're going to build the freezer up here. Um, like so. There you go. So basically this is kind of our fridge frame. This is the freezer. And this down here is the fridge. Now, most fridges have like trays and drawers. So we're going to do that. But first we're going to do sort of like the tray here on the freezer. Uh, now our fridge and freezer don't have an ice maker. So we won't need to be building a little ice machine. So yeah. There's a tray for our freezer. And then the fridge down here kind of has glass but there's not exactly glass in the game at the moment so I think we'll just build, build some dark metal tree and then we'll have this one lined up like so and so now it has sort of a, now it has sort of a little crease here um, to separate the fridge and the freezer so it looks like that now and then we're gonna do the handles so the handles we'll just use tubes uh, pretty easy <laughs> There you go. <laughs> There's your fridge and freezer handles. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, we'll kind of just have the door like swung open a little bit. And then we'll have it wide open like that. <laughs> so now we gotta fill it with beans. Yay. 
So for the bean can, we're just gonna do gray metal. Uh, it's more like a dark gray. We're gonna use spheres this time. Now we're gonna need to use one, not five. Position snap, please. Uh, we're gonna do sort of like a like a popped out effect, sort of like that. So so it's kind of like it's kind of like spherical, like this, and it uh yeah. And with this, we're going to just clone this down, actually. And so it's kind of like, so it, oh, let me turn off snap for this, actually. So we're kind of just gonna, you know, do like, so only, only clone it halfway. So it has that like, uh, that like can, like material, that can like texture on it and the feeling of it. So kind of like this. So now it has this sort of effect, which is how a can is. And we have to make, we actually, <laughs> we have to actually open it. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to get clone one of these top spheres here, and we're just gonna kind of do that, so it just kind of looks open. But <laughs> these are the beans. Yeah. So we're gonna put a lot of those in the fridge now. Uh, that's pretty simple. We'll just just move it and then put a bunch in the fridge. Um, only beans. On, on, only beans in the fridge. Only beans. So. We're just gonna clone these around, actually. All right, perfect. There you go. This is the fridge of beans. Detective Muffin says, "Build the house made out of pyramids, wedges, and spheres." Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll give it a try. That's a that's a pretty good challenge, actually. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do the sort of outside shell first. Uh, this is gonna be a detailed house, just to make that clear. So we're gonna do uh, gray shiny plastic for the outside. Uh, that color. What Detective Muffin was saying is that we can only use wedges, pyramids, and spheres to make our house. <laughs> so we're gonna try that out. So we're going to begin with wedges. And we're going to make the design of the house, sort of like the outside. We're not going to do the inside yet. We're probably not going to decorate the interior, but we will make the layout. Okay, so. Uh, we're going to put our snap up a little bit. <laughs> Snap's a little too small. Uh, one. There you go. So, we're going to make sort of like a... Sort of like, like outside jingles, kind of. So, we're going to do it like this. Sort of like that, see? So... <sighs> Once you, oh, actually, let's make it a little fatter, like that. So basically, if we just clone this up, it kind of has that sort of like design here, where it's like, you know, kind of zigzag. So we're gonna do that across the entire outside of the house, and we're gonna make it a small house. It's not gonna be super big and detailed because, like I said, we're not doing those for the comment. As you can see, we have this design here. Like I said, has that cool layout. Uh, we're gonna have that for the entire wall of the house on the outside though on the outside remember that take note This is all of wedges. They're just like this and it's just cloned on top of each other over and over and over So it has that cool pop-out design now that we did all the outer shell these corners are looking kind of wonky We're gonna get some white wood here, and we're actually going to get a pyramid like this and we're gonna rotate the pyramid around like so I'm gonna manipulate Ooh, we're gonna manipulate this uh, pyramid like this so that it's kind of like going over but the middle should be where where the middle of this actually is and it would be about right there so with that we're gonna manipulate this all the way down until it has a, a good good a good shape so we're gonna manipulate it very far down uh, as you can see, <laughs> wow, uh, it has this little like weird crease here. I don't know what's with that, but uh, up like that, and boom, just like that. We're gonna do that on all the corners. So now we have all four corners with uh, this, uh, yeah, this wood here. And as you can see under the map, it's just the pyramids go very far down, but they do look pretty good up here, which is great. Uh, we didn't make a door, so we're gonna do that. So now we have the door frame here. Now we have to do the roof, not just a ceiling, not a ceiling, but a roof. So, <sighs> pyramids aren't very well with roofs, unfortunately, but we are going to try it. <laughs> I'm very curious how this will turn out. So, boom. 
Uh, well, you know, it's not, it's not actually not too bad, actually. You know, it could be worse. It can be very worse. Uh, we are gonna, like, point it out a little bit, just so it kind of, like, it kind of sticks out like this. As you can see, here's our door. Uh, so the spheres, I'm not sure where we're gonna put the spheres, really. Uh, he didn't say you have to use all of it, but, uh, we'll try to adapt it somewhere. Um... Yeah, I got nothing. I don't know where to put this. So, for the door, we're gonna do the door first, actually. So, we're gonna use the same white wood texture. We're gonna use wedges. Now, see, the strategy here is we're gonna get a wedge here, right? And we're gonna turn off snapping, and we're gonna make it as small as possible. So, as you can see, it is kind of like a wall. And then we're just gonna manipulate this wedge, and, oh, it's unsetting, hold on. And just like that, sun is setting, so it's, Looks kind of weird, but uh, I'll get back to this when sun sets. So, there's your house. <laughs> Using only wedges, pyramids, and spheres. <laughs> so, in the common hall, the house will be outside. Ding Boy VR says, build a useless box. Okay. You know what? You know what? Boom. So Fox Gaming says, I would love to see how people make more difficult shapes. Maybe a doorway with an arch that leads to another world. Okay. So Soul Fox asked for a door going to another world with an archway. So the archway here, really it's just cubes, but it's by five degrees here, 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 over and over. And so this is just like a half circle. So that's kind of like the arc here. And we're going to put we're gonna manipulate these like straight ones down. So there's your archway. And the doorway, here's the door with the arch here. So we're gonna fill in the doorway. So you have to go through the doorway to even see any of this. And how we're gonna do that is we're actually just going to select the outside. So here's our little door archway. So what I did basically, that outer arch you saw, that's the one that's popping out. And then I basically copy, or I cloned that one, I scaled it down a little bit, and then I manipulated it so it, it um, goes, it moves down into the door frame. Now we do want the door frame to pop out a little bit, so we're just going to do that by doing this, doing that, and doing that. So, now the door frame and the out outside arc uh, is outlined. So now we'll manipulate the outside arc to go inwards. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clone the outside um, arc, and we're just going to clone it behind it. And then we're going to recolor that arc as uh, glowing glowing white. So basically what I'm doing here, this is a different arc layer, and we're just manipulating those, we're just manipulating these outside ones here, just like this. And we're closing it in. So now it looks like this. As you enter, it's a little arc, and we're now we're actually going to recolor that interior arc uh, like glowing white because you want to interpret that you are completely changing worlds. So kind of something like this. So you're completely changing worlds like this. So as you walk, so as you walk in, it's kind of like this effect. And then once you go past a second doorway that will be right here, then you're in that second world. So adding that second door, it kind of looks something like this. Now Soul Fox did request that it goes to a different world, so we are going to do that. I made some terrain, and we got the doorway there, and we're gonna go through the doorway and see what's on the other side. Let's go through, oh, um, oh my, oh my, what, I'm, I'm going back, uh, heck no. 28GB says, build a red dot, um, okay, you know what? What? I will. You know, okay. Look at that. 
Ethan Hutch dot underscore dot 13 said build the microwave okay so for starters we're gonna get a uh, gray metal traditionally that's what microwaves are here's the frame of our microwave yeah okay there's our trim there we got the sort of trim the microwave here and then we're gonna need some glass which unfortunately we do not have so we're gonna alternate that with some metal yay we're gonna do like this kind of metal so we're just gonna put that there. Boom, there you go. And then... There's your microwave. Your buttons look a little out of order. It's, it's an old it's an old microwave. Wrecker and VR memes says, build the guacamole hat from Despicable Me. So here's the base. Here's the outline there. See that? Old, oh, okay. So here we got the uh, the outline trim this is the interior where the guacamole goes why well, then second um and then we're going to use a tube to get the nice uh you know the actual like uh, cone that comes up the top thing that yeah all right well we got the topper here yeah, which is awesome so <laughs> we're gonna merge that and then we're gonna duplicate the cylinder under there to put it up and then that we will recolor as our guac so that will be like oh no like that <laughs> that's the guacamole hat from despicable me so i went ahead and put it on a costume dummy for whatever reason and um <laughs> and um it, it's on you can't take any 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 chips off of it though, so that that's unfortunate. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, well that would be it for this video. I don't want to make the video too long. Also feel free to comment any more submissions you want me to do because I'm planning to do all the comments that I get. Just not in one video. I don't want it being super long, but if you did enjoy, like the video and comment down below any more submissions you want or if you want me to do more. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video.